the verse I got is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3. It says, And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. So the title of the sermon is about the sins of Israel. So go to Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. It says, And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow thyself down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy to thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So to see um, when Israel did this sin, go to Exodus 32, verse 1. And when the people saw that Moses lay to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, ah, make us gods, which shall go before us, for as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we want not what is become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings, which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And all the people break off the golden earrings, which were in their ears, and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. You see how angry Moses was? Go to um, verse 17 of the same chapter. It says, And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said unto Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. And he said, It is, it is not the voice of them that shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome. The noise of them that seeing do I hear. It came to pass as soon as he came nigh to the camp that the, he saw the calf and it dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot. And he cast the tables out of his hands and brake them beneath the mount. And he took the calf which they had made and burnt it in the fire, and ground it to power, and strewed it upon the water, and made the children of Israel drink from it. So you see how angry Moses was. The first two commandments were not to make any god or bow down to any god, and Israel did that sin. Yeah. So if you look at Judges 10, verse 6, it says, And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord, and served by Balaam and Ashtaroth, and the gods of Syria, and the gods of Zidon, and the gods of Moab, and the gods of the children of Ammon, and the gods of the Philistines, and forsook the Lord, and served not him. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he sold them into the hands of the Philistines and into the hands of the children of Ammon. And that year they vexed and oppressed the children of Israel 18 years. All the children of Israel that were on the other side, Jordan, in the land of the Amorites, which is in Gilead. So this is even worse. Israel bowing down to many gods, not one god. And they were sold to the Philistines for 18 years. But um, if you go to verse 30 to 16, because they rejected the Lord, the Lord rejects them. It says, Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you into the, in the time of your tribulation. And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, We have sinned. Do thou unto us whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. Deliver us only, we pray thee, this day. And they put away the strange gods from among them and served the Lord. And his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. So Judges 13 verse 1 says, And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistines forty years. So this time, Israel, uh, the Lord led Israel into the Philistines for forty years instead of eighteen years for further punishment. Israel also became rebellious to the Lord. The Lord brought them out of Egypt, but they forgot about him. 
करो जी क्यू Ezekiel two verse three. It says, "And they said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day, for they are impotent children." And stiff-hearted, I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. And they, whether they'll hear or whether they'll forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Through buys and thorns be be with thee, and thou dost well dwell among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they'll hear or whether they'll forbear, for they are most rebellious. So the Lord sent um, Ezekiel to Israel, and the Lord said that He will be with him and not to be um, afraid of them, even though they are rebellious and they may not listen. Some people think that uh, Israel was chosen um, special from God, but they're just like any other nation. And they rebelled against the Lord. If you, if you go to Ezekiel twenty-one, at verse two, Son of man, set thy face toward Jerusalem and drop thy word toward the holy place, and prophesy against the land of Israel. And say to the land of Israel, Thus saith the Lord: Behold, I am against thee, and will draw forth that my sword out of his sheath. I will cut off from thee the righteousness and the wicked. So the Lord is actually going against Israel. If they don't turn to Him, He'll kill them with the sword, and He'll um, He'll separate the righteous from the wicked ones. All throughout the book of Ezekiel, the Lord is against Israel for doing their wicked sins. Another really wicked sin they did was. In Joshua seven verse one to five, but the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. For Achan the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah of the tribe of Judah, took of the accursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. And Joshua sent. Men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside Bethaven on the east side of Bethel, and spake unto them, saying, "Go up and view the country." And the men went up and viewed Ai. And when they returned to Joshua and said unto him, "Let not all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and smite Ai, and make not all the people to leave labor thither, for they are few." So they were going to、um, fight the people in Ai, but then. Verse four. So there went up thither the people about three thousand men, and they fled before the men of Ai. And the men of Ai smote of them about thirty and six men, for they chased them from before the gate even unto Shemim, and smote them in the going down. Wherefore the hearts of people melted and became as water. So the reason that Israel were being held,、um, were dying because the Lord wasn't helping them because they took their cursed thing. Verse eleven. Of this,、um, Joshua seven says, Israel hath sinned, and they have also trans- transgressed my covenant which I commanded them, for they have even taken of their cursed thing and have also stolen and assembled also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. Therefore, the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies, because they were cursed. Neither will I be with you any more, except you destroy their cursed thing from among you. So the children of Israel also stole. And if they bring the accursed thing,、um, if they destroy the accursed thing, the Lord will build them again. So、um, we shouldn't, we should not rebel against the Lord and forget Him like Israel did.